But as with any major success, a backlash was perhaps inevitable. In America, some creationists complained that walking with dinosaurs favored Darwin's theory of evolution over the biblical account of creation. Some commentators closer to home claimed that the series had presented speculation as fact. When I see a program in, in which we clearly see things for which there is no supporting evidence, dinosaurs of different colours, dinosaurs marking the territory uh, with urine, it's just quite ridiculous. And it upset me and that's why one of the reasons that I, I wrote a couple of the, the articles that I wrote about this programme. The bond between cynodonts is extraordinarily strong. They pair for life. It was presented as a seamless natural history documentary and there's no way any member of the audience could decide for themselves whether they swallowed it all as fact or whether they thought the whole thing was a, a made-up story and that there was just no way of sorting out one from the other and I think that did cause quite a lot of confusion. <laughs> For the programme makers, this criticism overlooked the main objective of the series, which was not to formulate an academic thesis, but to bring prehistory to life. It was almost as though they totally underestimated the intelligence of the audience. You know, the audience know what this is. They know we haven't really gone to film the dinosaurs. And I think, you know, sometimes some of the criticism was sort of saying, you're presenting stuff them and people won't know what's fact and fiction. People know, they know this is the best guess, and they're intelligent enough, viewers are intelligent enough, to understand exactly what Walking the Dinosaurs is. As with all science and, and technologies, you can make mistakes. In fact, our profession is littered with some wonderful mistakes. I and mean, some animals, we put the head on the wrong end, for heaven's sakes, <laughs> we just put the head on the tail. These things happen, and we're going to make mistakes in the future. So maybe there are some mistakes in walking with dinosaurs, but that is the nature of science. Science is about hypothesis testing, and making an hypothesis is speculation. We might say, we believe T-Rex walked in a bipedal manner, and the evidence is it's got very long hind legs and it's got short arms. We'll never actually see it walking, so I can't prove that T-Rex was a biped. But based on all kinds of common sense, I would say, as a wild speculation, T-Rex walked on its hind legs and did not use its arms in walking. So you can call that speculation if you like, but I would call that scientific inference.